Welcome to MMA Dogs. My name is Hector. This is my dog, Dan. Hey. We'd like to take a quick second to thank you for tuning in today. And if you haven't already had a chance, please subscribe to our channel. You'll simply get a notification letting you know, hey, we uploaded a new video. That way you don't have to go looking around for it and have to keep track of this or that. It's all automatic. Dog? Yes, please check out our website also, MMADogs.com. M-M-A-D-A-W-G-S.com. There we have our proven track record, our MMA betting strategy, and other helpful links including a podcast which can be found on iTunes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. UFC 157, Saturday, February 23rd, live only on pay-per-view. We have Josh Koshek taking on Robbie Lawler. So let's take a look at Josh Koshek's last two fights, and then we'll take a look at Lawler's last two fights. So Koshek most recently lost a split decision to Johnny Hendricks. And in the fight before that, he won a split decision over Mike Pierce. Robbie Lawler most recently lost a decision to Lorenz Larkin. And the fight before that, he knocked out Adian Agamov. Agamov. So for this particular fight, it's going to be, for Robbie Lawler, it's going to be a stylistic matchup nightmare, in my opinion. I see Josh Koshek taking over the octagon, wrestling, taking him down, and submitting him. Now, Robbie Lawler, there's going to be some fans out there, you know, who want to see him fight because he is entertaining. You know, it is a fun fight to watch. With that being said, you know, he's going up uh, against a whole other kind of beast in Josh Koshek. Koshek only, other than the exception with, uh, with Paulo Thiago, he only loses to really, really good guys. Yeah, in the beginning of his career, he lost to Fickett. But other than that, he only re- loses to really, really good guys. And even the really top guys that, that he loses to or perhaps fights, it's always some split decision or some kind of close fight. So with this one, I see Josh Koshek outclassing Robbie Lawler. Um, and taking him down, submitting him, okay? So for the people interested in the betting strategy and, and, the, and the confidence in the pick, with this one, I'm going five stars. I'm going all in here. Josh Koshek via submission. That's the way I see it. What do you see, Doug? Yeah, you know, when we were discussing this before, uh, I was actually thinking this was going to be a decision, but I'm leaning a lot more towards a submission for Josh Koshek. I'm also going to five-star this pick. You know, Koshek beats... Everybody but the best. He's got great wrestling. He's got speed and knockout power. He's, you know, one and one on his last two fights, both of them being split decisions, both of them being controversial split decisions. But it is what it is. Robbie Lawler, three and five of his last eight fights. You know, I see Robbie Lawler with one shot, one shot at winning this fight, and that's to be the second man to ever knock out Josh Koscheck. I don't think that's going to be a problem. I don't think that's going to happen. And I, yeah, like like you said, I, I feel like Koshek's going to get this fight to the ground and submit him first or second round, and that's going to be that. You know, Robbie Lawler, he comes off of losses by decision, uh, by submission. Koshek hasn't really submitted anybody other than Anthony Johnson recently. Um, but, you know, it's, it's there for him to work with if he has to. Robbie Lawler hasn't really been knocked out for for a long time, I think he. I was like, I know Nick Diaz knocked him out. I think somebody knocked him out since then, but that was like we're talking like eight years ago or something like that. But I still think he's able to get knocked out if he fights somebody good enough, like Josh Koscheck. But yeah, I'm gonna say five stars submission, straight to the bank, no, no question about it. There you have it, folks. We'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.